Hi, Chupa Lupas. How are you? Okay. It is. What is the date? The 12th already, right? The 12th. Okay. I'm going to stay. I'm going to stay off the camera today. Okay. My energy is all over the place. I woke up feeling really good. Um, during the day, I was a little like. I was definitely cranky, not myself. I know too too much information for some of you, some of you guys. But I ended up getting my period, and I'm like wicked bitchy. But not like with people. It's more like irritated. I don't know. I can't explain it. And then I don't know. I'm just not. I'm not feeling it, and I don't want to send these icky vibes your way. I don't know if they're really icky. <laughs> But I'm just I'm not feeling it, but I still want to be there for you guys, okay? So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw about four, four or five of these individually, and then I'll clarify, okay? So, what happened to that energy where today was supposed to be a better day for the feminine? <laughs> oh my goodness. Not not so much for me hey it hasn't been awful my day has not been awful i did buy uh a new pendulum and a new card a new deck of cards though they should be coming in the mail tomorrow so don't worry about me i'm fine okay thank you though for those who will voice their concern i love you guys so let's see, March 12th, four individual things, please. Individual cards, individual readings for each card, please. Rebirth, Thunderbolt, very similar colors, so it's, it's like you're going through a transition, okay, um, a rebirth, a shift, we knew that was happening, and it is kind of a, a tower situation for some okay um because that's the tower multiple people fall from this tower it, it's like highest higher conscious right this actually yeah there's just two people that fall from this tire tower right now I keep saying tire um and then integration that you know the yin and the yang so Whatever you're going through, it will get better. Okay? So, let's clarify. Let's clarify. So, I, I did read them. I did just read those like I normally would. But each each one. There is a story here, so it, it can be told, right? But I do want to do it individually. So... Tell me about rebirth. Okay. You got the magician. Something's already manifested. You have every tool that you need when it comes to something. Tell me about the magician. King of Wands. So maybe they're going through a rebirth. Or maybe they not, they need to start using the tools that they have. Okay. Um, or I want to say if this is you. Say you're feminine. You're going through a rebirth. I, I truly feel like it's the other way around. But I'm going to play both scenarios. 
say you're feminine, you go into a rebirth, it's it's basically saying you have every tool you need to deal with the King of Wands. But to me, the way the King of Wands is coming at the magician, it, it's almost like they're going through like a, a rebirth, rebirthing stage. Um, and they most definitely have every single tool they need to accomplish something. It, it's a given. Okay, so that's that's good. That's positive. Tell me about the tower. Towers are good sometimes, good guys. They bring clarity. They can bring pain, they can bring hurt, they can bring sorrow, but they can also bring joy and happiness and fulfillment and all sorts of wonderful things, surprises, you know, so it's almost like I feel like this one's a little more like whoa because first of all, you clearly see the person almost like in a, in a meditative state, but it, it's not even meditative. To me, it's, it's awareness. It's full body awareness, right? So whatever's happening is affecting other people, okay? Multiple people, not just one. And you have judgment. It, that's kind of like a, a rebirth to a resurrection. But again, I'm going to play them out singly. <laughs> Singly, single, singly, not a word. Freaking quotes dictionary. E either someone's gonna forgive you, or they're gonna want your forgiveness. It's it's about second chances, okay? So let's see what judgment's about. And we do have at the bottom of the deck the Queen of Wands and the Two of Cups. So tell me about judgment, please. Tell me about judgment, please. I had one song. I was singing it all morning, trying to remember what it was. It was like 80s for sure. So, Three of Cups. Again, another card of, you know, reconciliation, second chances, happiness whatever this tower was, was definitely a shake up because it's, it's 10 of swords troops. It's, it wasn't a great tower. So it looks like, you know, either you need to forgive someone because something's over, right? So in this sense, I, I want to read it to you guys as, yeah, something's over. Forgive yourself. I don't know if you're putting blame on you, but just be happy again. You know? Let's see if I can get a little more out of this tower real quick. Out of this three of cups. Both cards really does speak of kind of reconciliation, but you can reconcile with yourself too, you know. So it does look like spirit saying for, for someone, for some group out there, there will be a, a breakthrough. But I can also read this as you had a massive breakthrough. And you recognize something and, you know, maybe it is time for you to forgive yourself for a situation and go hang out with your friends, be happy. Others, you know, it might be somebody who wants a second chance and it looks like you guys might have a breakthrough. Okay, it really just depends on how this is rolling for you. So tell me about integration, please. This is the card of balance. This beautiful integration. The nine of wands, nine of swords wanted to pop out. Tell me about integration. <clears throat> 
So some someone's. Huh. It looks like balance will be restored with a mother figure, a feminine figure, somebody who's looked at as an empress. Um, hold on. The four speaks to stability too. This is somebody's money that's looking good too. But that's not what it's saying here. It's more... It's more someone's holding on to the Empress. So it's like, I don't know if it's like an energetic battle. Because it looks like someone wants to restore balance. I didn't want to read this as a story, but it's, it's all meshing. I don't know. You know, if, if this is regarding a, a, a breakup, a split, somebody you don't want in your life, it, it's not working. It, it's, it's not good for you. It's not, it's not rolling. Then this isn't the greatest because That means you would forgive yourself for a situation or someone would forgive you. You know what I'm saying? Like, and you had that breakthrough. And now it's, it's you finding that balance. So it's like, it's like the Empress is being held on to, but. It's saying it's not in a negative way. Tell me about the four of pence, please. Yeah, somebody can't like get their minds off of you. So, you know, maybe you guys can restore balance. Let's look at it in a positive way then, right? You know, if you're having your own breakthrough and your own, you know, as is, if you're having your own breakthrough, that's great. Keep doing what you're doing. Maybe this has nothing to do with you because I, I did want to read these in three different ways, okay? So in this particular circumstance, you know, it's, it's a brand new someone. Congratulations. You know, it takes a lot to get to this energy. So I, I really hope you put the magician to good use. Other groups, other categories, um, maybe you had a breakup. Maybe something didn't go good and somebody just came back into your life. And that is so positive. So again, congratulations. Okay. And then we have another group where it, it's, you know, it talks about the balance, the, the yin and the yang. And this energy doesn't really mesh with this energy so this seems to be a little like Ooh, you know somebody still seems to be holding on to a feminine they can't get their mind off of somebody um so let me see if i can get one more card for that pile and then i will pull you your best advice for each pile that didn't flip. Okay. So the fool. So either you're going to take a risk or this person. It doesn't, it looks, whomever this energy is, the one that's holding on, looks like they end up taking a risk. Or they feel like it would be foolish. It'd be way too risky. So let's, let's see what the fool is about to do. 
because it does look like you know somebody will take a risk but with the, these two energies of, of really holding is a free fall like that I, i'm just trying to be practical for you guys a, a free fall like that is is tough right so i again see what i'm saying you got the lovers so there could be a third party here you know, so it might be too foolish for them to leave this scenario, but yeah, they can't keep their minds off of you, but that doesn't help, you know what I mean? Um, this is the same energy that actually came out yesterday for yesterday's read, so it's still in this one. So somebody's still in yesterday's energy. But I don't even think you would recognize that. Well, yeah, obviously you watch Tarot, right? But like, if if you weren't in that energy of yesterday of the seven of wands, five, all of that, then you wouldn't even know about this. This seems to be their battle. So this competition, so the, so the risk isn't really being taken. If you ask me, this person's trapped holding on to a situation. They could be holding on to, that could be a wife, you know. Um, yeah, they're thinking about the other one. You know, but they're also thinking it would be extremely foolish. I do feel like this empress, though, is not the wife. Tell me about the empress. I I feel like she she's either a mother figure or somebody looks at someone at someone as the empress. Yeah. See. Cool. Well. possibly two different women because if a queen was to come out on the empress it, I, I, and there was a third party an affair going down I would have wanted to see the queen of wands so one seems to be the mother of the children and one seems to be nurturing it's one's a mom they nurture in different ways or they, they nurture in the same way but you know what I'm saying like Someone has kids with someone in this scenario. So there's, there's not a breakthrough in this situation yet. If somebody came in and asked for forgiveness, then there's a breakthrough. For, for a group of you out there, for sure. And there's a, there's a beautiful something starting here, too. So congratulations, congratulations. Here, it is, it is this is the energy. So... If you want to concern, put yourself in that type of scenario, then this energy doesn't really ever go anywhere, troops. You you can't create that that perfect balance, that that harmony that you want when there's somebody else in the picture. You know, so it is. They're still holding on, but they're, they're all up in their head when it comes to the other woman, you know, but right now, this is, there's no action behind this, okay? So, let's pull your best advice for each one. We'll leave it at that. Oh, I don't know about you guys. I am exhausted. I'm tired. And cranky. <laughs> I'm tired, exhausted, and cranky. Put 
be last night. All right, best advice for rebirth. Best advice for rebirth. You got solutions. Success comes from the objective compromising self-control, patience, forgiving, and healing. Okay. So somebody is coming up with a solution. Or will be. Tell me about breakthrough. Tell me about breakthrough. Justice. Fight for justice and equality. Wounds made in your favor. Don't give up. So, mm, it's not that it's contradicting itself. The Ten of Cups at the bottom of the deck, but something good is going to come out of this situ situation for sure, for sure. So, if you're in give up mode, you know, try not to. So, maybe this tower happens. But the apologies, the you know, certain that hasn't partaked yet, basically is what this is saying. So if you had it out with someone and it and it wasn't the greatest, just know there's possibilities of balance in, in this situation for sure, for sure. Reconciliations coming back together, forgiveness. It's it's great. It's beautiful. Okay. And tell me about the fool. Best advice for the fool. This I love this fool deck. This this fool in this deck though, because honestly, there it's like it's it's too late to turn back. That's how far it is off the cliff, you know? So it looks Looks like this could be good for some of you guys. An excellent opportunity will be offered to you. Okay, time to get to work. So it's the page of pence coming in on top of this, right? So it does speak of balance and both cards speak of balance. So it looks like there's going to be some type of fresh something with this situation. I, I couldn't tell you if it was with the wife or the one he or she had an affair with. Okay. So. Yeah, the four swords at the bottom of the deck. Insight, you know, will come. You might need more sleep or time off of work. If you're stressed out, you know, seek release from stress. So whatever helps. Music, the outdoors, Whatever works for you. Okay. All right, y'all. I love you. Bye.